right, we are in Rockford, Illinois. The most dangerous city in America, under 200,000. We're gonna drive through one of the worst neighborhoods in Rockford. 10 years ago when I bought into this neighborhood, it was the worst neighborhood in Rockford. And I wouldn't have bought into this neighborhood had it not been for a carrot and stick scenario, which I fell for. So, as we drive along, you're gonna notice there's gonna be a lot of vacant lots, okay? This is the front line of the drug war, okay? When I first bought this property down here 10 years ago, every Friday, Saturday night, the traffic on this street was like the tollway. And every vacant property that you see is a property that used to sell drugs. Right here, there was a property where the uh, the woman who lived there had all kinds of uh, parties of the neighborhood kids. Of course, she was Section 8, you know, got government money. And uh, all the neighborhood kids would come over there. And I would hear about uh, uh, some things that uh, the kids shouldn't be doing. And she was protected. People called the police all the time on her, and she never got in trouble. As soon as she moved out, they tore the house down. I guess that's how you cover the tracks. Then you have people like this who are stuck because wonderful good people that can't sell their properties here's my property right here and next door to my property is a neighbor who's in on the scam she's uh, I'll tell you about that later over here you got some good people that are fixing up these properties right here when I bought in 10 years ago this place here was the worst uh, well from what the neighbors told me they were selling crack and cocaine out of here the house that was there was kind of like this one here, kind of a box shape. And uh, from what the neighbors tell me, was the brother of one of the top politicians in town. Need I mention Democrat? Yeah, when uh, when they were done selling whatever they were selling there, they tore the property down there too. See, then there's no evidence left. So what we're looking at here is the front lines of the drug war in America. Like I say, all the vacant properties that you see are places where drug houses used to be. So as you can see here, about 30% of the properties used to be drug houses. Now, how do I know that? Well, number one, from the neighbor that told me about this house. Over here, I once had a uh, guy come and haul in some stuff away. He told me he lived in the house that used to be here. and. Uh, he was all laughing about it. He was about 65, maybe 62 years old. And he was all joking about it. I used to sell cocaine out of there. Uh, he was dead before the year was out. These folks over here are fixing up their property. This is my property over here that the lady next door keeps uh, calling me and telling me there's damage. And the people that live there tell me they don't do the damage. Yet I get broken windows and then cited by the city of Rockford. These poor people here can't sell their house because it's a crap neighborhood. This is where the sex club of the woman was living that nobody could uh, nobody could report to the police and anything done on it. Now the scam on this street. Here's another one. Look, all these all these houses are former crack houses. Okay. This street is Blaisdell in Rockford, Illinois. I don't know if I mentioned it's June 20th, but. Uh, if you go to Catherine Austin Fitz's website, solari.com, you'll find out that uh, they tear all these houses down because the drug war is kind of a urban renewal slash drug war um, combination that the political cronies, the the crony cap, the crony capitalists locally here, they use only their preferred customers, you know, the politically connected contractors and whatnot. Somebody like me who's not connected could have could have bought one of these houses that they tore down and fixed it up for under $50,000. When they come in with their HUD money, as Catherine Austin Fitz has pointed out, they come in with their uh, with their HUD money. They'll spend $250,000 and that money will be doled out to their politically connected contractors and whatnot. So that's what's going on here. That's how you end up with all these torn down properties because the local housing and urban development people 
uh, in Rockford, it's Winnebago County, Winnebago County Housing Authority and Rockford Housing Authority. They'll come through here later and try to build houses, okay? And they'll build those houses for $250,000 when you could have fixed up the old house for $50,000. So this is the drug war. It's in concert with the urban renewal scams. Of course, there's bankers and all kinds of people involved. But this street here is what the drug war in uh, America has done. It is one of the worst streets in Rockford. And uh, for years, like I say, people would call the police. Nothing would ever happen. And why is that? Because the people that were down there, the sex club, and the politically connected uh, cocaine trafficker there, and the hauler that I rented, or that I uh, had do some hauling for me, he tells me he had a crack house there. Yeah, all this stuff is in concert to bring a neighborhood down so that they can come back in later and fix it up with taxpayer money, with all that money being fed to their political, their political cronies. All right, signing out.